Dundee United keep the same side that were 2-1 victors against Spartans at home last Sunday. Keep an eye on Danny McGinley. She scored the winner as the game approached injury time. Aberdeen make three changes after the heavy defeat away to Motherwell. Jessica Broderick scored at Pataudry against Glasgow Women earlier in the season. Bailey Collins scored the consolation goal against Motherwell last Sunday. And has Aberdeen in a threatening position here? I think it's almost difficult at times when you've got a free kick. It's almost in the middle of the park. I think for me, you've got to then change, try and change your direction, haven't you? Um, just to give your players an opportunity in the box to go and attack it. She goes for goal. Off the post, it's bounced across the face. McNichol was at full stretch there. Cooper drives it forward. Almost as well to stop the flick of Guthrie. Hutchison only has two Dundee United defenders to contend with. Up against Delworth again. Hutchison comes out on top that time and sticks the finish away just as you expect from Bailey Hutchison. Aberdeen celebrate. It's the visitors who have taken the lead here in this early SWPL Sunday clash. And it's Bailey Hutchison's second goal of the season. You know, as I just mentioned, if you don't get a good quality ball into the box when you've sent your centre-backs up, then, you know, put your team under pressure. You know, great strain from Hutchison, wasn't it? You know, she's had that drive and run. We've just seen one before that where Delworth managed to get a toe on it, but not on that occasion, you know. Great play, great striker play, you know. She's managed to use her strength, use her pace. Great finish. Fiona McNichol aims for McGinley. She's held off Hansen. She could be through. Pokes it for Robin Smith. One on one. He was leaning back and she went to ground and it allows McCann to easily take. That was the opportunity Dundee United have been looking for in this first half. This opening first half has, has been really, really good. You know, they're, they're playing close together, which then gives any defence problems. Um, there's, you see one coming short, one going on. McGinley beautifully floated for Robin Smith, but she's blazed it over. Both Harkin and Ogilvy off the pitch. Game restarted, Delworth. McGinley battles with Hansen, turns and hits the strike, and it's a wonderful strike from Danny McGinley. She's done it again, this time at the end of the first half, and it's a big equaliser for Dundee United. 1-1. One, one. Absolutely massive for Dundee United, you know, and it's a, a, a player that's scored many important goals for Dundee United um, last week and then this week you know she's shown great composure here great strength you know she's managed to hold the ball up, ball up here um, initially you know, we managed to get a turn great strike over the midway point of the second half Harkin gets the flick on Danny McGinley through on goal again it's straight at McCann it's a strong stop from the young goalkeeper Here's Danny McGinley again, releases Rachel Todd, can she get the drive across, touch from Broderick and it moves away from Jody Malcolm, and United just trying to force something, but it didn't happen there. Bonner, shows too much to show, Aberdeen could have three on two, she's released Bailey Hutchison, Keeps her composure, Bailey Hutchison, has she won it for Aberdeen? She makes it a double, she runs away in celebration, the teammates come up to join her, and Aberdeen on their way to a big victory, only their second league victory of the season in the SWPL at Tannadice. Incredible goal, you know, for me, it was a, a short pass by Bonner for United into the middle of the pitch, but Hutchison, as she's shown all game, just too much pace, too much power, she, power. she's just brushed Ryan aside and she's got that direction, that power into the box, into the goal fantastic We just never got going in the first half and then obviously as, as the half went on, two or three chances and then we obviously get going half time and we make two or three changes at half time and I think we actually started setting half pretty well and again we've had two or three chances and we don't take them and at this level you get punished. First and foremost it was a good game, I think it was enjoyable pretty much end to end and chances and then I think probably a draw probably would have been the fair result. I think United will probably be aggrieved to a couple of big chances that they miss. But like something we hit the post as well with a free kick and have another chance as well. So 
I think the biggest thing for us today was getting the win. 